I grew up with my grandparents in Biloxi. Um, Bishop Nance and my grandmother was Octavia Nance. Uh, he was a Pente Pentecostal bishop and uh, pretty much old school. Even back then in the 70s, he was old school. So we weren't allowed, my brother Tommy and I were not allowed to participate in the activities outside of school, football, basketball. Now we would sneak in and try to get in it, but eventually he would find out and he would come get us and we would have to, we'd have to quit. So my dad lived over in Diabaville. So uh, having the conversation between my mom and my dad, uh, who were divorced at the time, she asked us, could we come over and, and live with him in order for us to, to play ball? And, and he said yes. And so we made the move from Biloxi to, to Diabaville during my 10th grade year, which I just played basketball, didn't play football. Really didn't have a big interest in playing football, to be honest with you. Um, but I think it was my 11th grade year, I mean, after I think it was my 10th grade year during the spring ball. I said, okay, I'm, I'm gonna play football. Went out for spring ball, I broke my collarbone. And I'm like, this might not be the thing for me. But you know, my dad was one of his, the, they had this principle, if you start something, you finish it. So it wasn't a matter of starting and then getting hurt, then quitting, you, you had to see it through. Um, and then my junior year, uh, of course, I went back out. And I think after three games, the fourth game, I broke the other collarbone. And at that point, I said, I'm done. I'm through with football, forget football. I'm just gonna go play basketball. And, uh, because at that point, when I broke my other collarbone, my, my season was done. You know, so I just kind of got myself prepared to play basketball and run track. And, you know, I was kind of telling everybody, you know, I'm done with football, I'm, I'm playing, you know, telling my friends. So it kind of got back to Coach Singleton, who was my high school coach, that I was not going to play. So he called me into his office and said, Reggie, I hear you. And of course, you know, no, 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 Coach, that's, that's, that's not true. I'm coming back out. I'm coming back out. So actually went back and everything kind of fell into place you know with my senior year um, we had a we had a pretty good team uh, at Diabaville. Uh, we were we went undefeated uh, I think we gave up a total of 10 points the whole year on defense uh, which was defense led by Greg Greg Kelly and uh, I was pretty much a spectator on defense you know, but playing safety. Every once in a while I have to make a tackle or do whatever it is, but those guys had a pretty good handle on it and really played really well as a unit on both offense and defense. And um, so, you know, regarding everything in Diabaville, you know, it's a matter of being at the right place at the right time, having the right people around you, uh, a coach who believed in you, even though I didn't necessarily, you know, I'm still learning the game, you know, a game of football, let alone playing quarterback, still learning, learning what to do, what not to do, learning how to do it, you know, those those kind of things. And and uh, so he was a very good teacher. Uh, and I have the ultimate respect for Coach Singleton, you know, even to this day, I always have, always will, you know, with Coach Singleton you know, at the Alberville. So it was, um, it was, it was a great experience, you know, at the Alberville.